last uh, speaker for this uh, for the warm upping the session on on uh, space and humans i would invite uh, through the means of online communications antonio messeni petruzzelli who is a professor of innovation management uh, and um, he would talk about stem education and talent growth for uh, space industry uh, antonio can you hear us Yes, of course. Do you hear me? Yes, we can hear you as well and we can see you well. So, uh, Antonio, the floor is yours. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, sir. Thanks a lot. First of all, let me express my pleasure for having had the opportunity to be, you know, even if virtually, with you today. As um, introduced, my name is Antonio Messini Petruzzelli. I'm a professor of innovation management <coughs> sorry, at Polytechnic University of Bari, and I'm also a member of the steering committee of our ESA Lab. Um, as you know, space economy, I think that uh, is now becoming uh, more and more a critical industry as uh, witnessed, for instance, by the overall economic result of the upstream market, about 30 billion of euro and downstream market, about 250 billion of euro that characterized last year. However, one of the most uh, um, significant change of this industry is, is uh, represented by the capability to attract the hand of new private players, for instance, about 30 billion of euros of investment in 2021, with an annual increase of more than 80%. So I think that this is one of the most relevant uh, elements that characterize, that open the door to the new era for space. Uh, in this scenario, of course, taking into account also, as I introduced in the previous pre presentation, for instance, the multiple complex challenges that will characterize the next years, uh, public and private actors need to nurture and to develop new competencies, especially in the, especially but not all, let me say, but especially in the STEM fields, by designing and implementing an initiative that can be devoted to attract the interest of young students toward this set. Uh, as Polytechnic of Bari, we have uh, developed in the last year some relevant uh, um, experimentation, let me say, also together with local industrial associations. Specifically, we have put in practice a number of initiatives and solutions. All these initiatives and their solutions have been oriented toward attracting students into the STEM realm. Example may include, for instance, inspiring speech and seminar for stimulating the interest in this topic. However, we, I think that uh, what we uh, I want to briefly uh, present and discuss with you also is uh, an initiative that we have developed only recently that we call it the Exploration Lab. Exploration Lab is an initiative jointly developed and signed with a local industrial association aimed at creating technical contests along the paradigm of open innovation. In particular, uh, a set of companies operating in the space industry, in the broad space industry, proposed some challenge and a team of young students coming from different schools and arrived to the penultimate year, so promoting contamination and uh, among competence experience, work together to solve the given challenge. Each team is supported by a researcher and a company member. The team work uh, uh, for about four months, more or less from March to June. Where well, at the beginning, there are some seminars from five to seven on technical issues and also approach as well as on soft skill uh, to, in a certain sense, homogenize the, the, the language and also the competencies to create a common background for working. While the last three months are dedicated, mainly dedicated to teamwork. At the end of the competition, so in the June period, each team proposes a specific solution that has been designed to address the specific technical challenge proposed by the good father company, let me say, to a panel of industrial research experts. And the winning one received a reward in terms of space, in terms of a stage to be spent, sorry, in the given space company that followed, of course, the same team. In addition, all the students that then decide to enroll to our university, so to, let me say, embrace a STEM course, may obtain some credit from three to five, depending on a specific course, for this activity, so uh, that can be, in a certain sense, valorizing to these courses. I think that this activity, even if uh, um, not, not so easy to be developed because it uh, needs a certain tailored in a certain sense, a significant contribute to stimulate the interest of our STEM and space. It's in, we have significantly enhanced our capability to bring young students towards STEM, but especially towards STEM applied to space. 
This is briefly the most relevant experience that I think we have conducted in the last year about this exploration lab that I think can be, of course, that I want, of course, to share and also to open to discuss with you. Thanks again for your, for your time. I'm, of course, here for questions and for comments. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Antonio. Let's give a round of applause. Uh, maybe we